Howdy y'all, it's Matt here, with the vibration of awesome. I feel pretty awesome right now. I didn't feel that awesome not too long ago. I'd like to say that I didn't do yoga and qigong or meditation for days, and how that happened was I allowed myself to, you know, be in the rat race, be consumed with life, with the demands of this world, and um, finally just took some time. I drove like over a half hour away outside of Denver to Evergreen to this nice little spot. I actually spent my birthday in this exact spot um, and came back here today, um, you know, four months later, five months later because um, I just knew that I needed to get away and recenter. And I just finished doing a little combination flow of uh, Qigong, uh, yoga, and then uh, ending it with like a nice meditation uh, in Shavasana. And um, I feel a lot better. I feel amazing. Um, and I will be honest with you. Yesterday, I was a complete mess. And I think that is important to express to the world that, holy moly, I am human. And um, when we are amidst chaos and things aren't going the way that we envision them to be and we're in a state of resistance first and acceptance, it's really easy to find ourselves stuck, throwing our hands up, unable to even like concentrate, comprehend. Um, like I can, I, yesterday I was completely worthless, pretty much. I, uh, I, I took like two naps <laughs> at two different parts during the day. I was just completely worn out. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that I work, I've been working a full-time job now um, since I've gotten back to the Denver area. And you know, life threw me a curveball. And, you know what, I've got to go back to work and make a living and reassess what I'm going to do to get ahead in life. Um, if you've been following my videos, if you know anything about me, I've been on the pursuit of financial freedom for a very long time and I have not broken through. And uh, recently, especially after uh, spending time with my therapist yesterday, I had some understanding and realizations about different parts of me that might be preventing that and have been preventing this for many years. I'm doing a separate video on that. This is more about coming to center and remembering that we can make the decision to change everything in an instant. And uh, yesterday, I fumbled hard. I even showed up at my therapist's uh, office and you know, usually I'm happy when I go in there, but yesterday I was just one thing after another let up and then I got to tr into some serious traffic getting over there and I just like about broke down when I got there. I was just, couldn't even like, I wanted to like explode outside of my skin. I couldn't even like handle it. And she helped me calm down and ground. And yesterday was weird. And I got, went home and just kind of passed out after I'd already passed out earlier that day. I just, just kind of like recouping from everything. Plus I did a pretty intense workout on my body. Uh, I went to the gym a few days prior and uh, it was intense. And it's not like yoga or qigong, it's just intense. I'm not entirely sure if weightlifting is the best thing for me. Definitely been trying to get some, some weight on here on this body. Um, it seems to be working slowly but surely, so I think I'm going to continue to do that. Um, may incorporate Qigong strength training very soon because I'm actually going to a uh, um, instructorship class with my uh, Qigong school very soon uh, to uh, to learn more about that and to very well become certified in that. I'm also learning a new Qigong uh, level two. It's a, it's a Regardless, that stuff doesn't matter right now. What I'm trying to say is that if you're feeling weird, if life is just weird, well, take a look at how you've been taking care of yourself. I personally have not been taking care of myself the last two or three days. Work got in the way. Big pet peeve of mine is the fact that I have to work a job, but you know what? I have to accept this and I have to learn how to incorporate my practice to become centered on a regular basis. And I just did that now so I can think and see far more clearly than I could have seen yesterday. And I just want to share with you that you can make that decision any moment to just uh, get away and do the right thing for yourself, whatever that may be. Maybe that's not eating crap today and maybe going and making yourself a juice or a smoothie or, or salad or whatever it is that's healthy for you. And diet's another thing that I have to really look at lately because I used to be so damn good at diet. Man, I used to eat, drink juice every day. It was part of my ritual with my yoga every single day. And you know what, for some reason that consistency was really difficult to maintain once I left my own temple. I had a temple, it was in St. Pete, and I was in complete control of that temple. Nobody could come into my temple 
now I'm just transitioning. I've been in transition for almost two years now since I left that place. Now I'm in Colorado and uh, day to time is what I'm doing. So take a minute to ground your ass into the ground. Don't make decisions that are important when you're feeling that way. If you're just feeling completely out of whack, like really find some nature. And if you're in Colorado, you know there's plenty of it here. I'm so grateful to have this here and to be able to escape the city life and get into you know a place like this and just root down and be all right. So just take a look where you're at. That's all I really wanted to say. I want to say that I'm much better today and that I am a human and just like all of us, like we have our bad days. And I feel like sometimes it's it's you know even nerve-wracking to express this real stuff to all these people out in the world, but I feel calling to do it. And um, you know, an older me used to think that I had to be perfect and how to portray myself a certain way. And these videos are a way for me to portray the real aspects of me, the real self, so that I can connect with real people that may be experiencing some of the things that I've been experiencing too, because life has been a struggle and very challenging. And I, there's a certain author I love named Stuart Wilde, and he says, life was not meant to be a struggle, just a gentle progression from day to day, much like walking through a valley on a sunny day. And sometimes I can remember that and remember that it's just a day at a time. And though my dreams may seem far out there, they might be closer than I, than, I, than I imagine because I can't see what's on my radar screen. The truth is I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. All I know is I'm gonna show up for work. No idea who I might meet, no idea what might fall into my existence and bless me. And I have no idea what lives I may impact positively just by existing and engaging myself with other individuals on this planet. So I have no idea. And since I've regrounded, resetted myself in the last hour or so, right here in this spot, I've been able to tap more into the vibration of awesome. And that vibration of awesome for me in a lot of ways, it's many different things, but it's that uncertainty and believing, trusting, and knowing that something amazing is going to happen. I'm only human. I have no idea what that could possibly be. But I trust and know, and I get excited about it. And I believe in the good things coming, as Naka once said. So I encourage you to believe in the good things coming in your life. And remember, your physiology plays a big part in your existence so if you're feeling out of whack go take some time to center down do some yoga some qigong some meditation just reconnect with the spirit reconnect with yourself and your higher self and remember it's all within you and uh, all these external things they are external and we can only have so much control over that but we can't control what's within it's a lot easier to control when we take that time and we take that discipline to ourselves and we you know keep coming back to the mat keep coming back to the spirit and our true essence with that thank you so much for listening there's a lot more on the way I'm gonna keep making videos I'm gonna keep sharing my authentic self it's not easy sharing the authentic self but I'm working on it and I'm getting better and I'm releasing the fear because there's been a lot of fear around that and uh, I don't have to be afraid anymore and neither do you so with that much love have a beautiful day go get grounded and centered get those roots in the earth get that crown on the stars because the future it's ours